Gotta grab a box of cereal, yo. Already finished my cereal, having some tea. About to get ready to get the day started. Toys? Here we go. Finally. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Another day, another dollar with your homeboy Jermaine. And right now I'm out running around doing some deliveries. I'm freaking lost in this building. Just dropped off this delivery. And uh, I'll check up another delivery. And I'm thinking, dude, this booster board, I really can't go nowhere on this thing when it comes to deliveries. The acting, I can actually do like four deliveries on one charge, you know, but the boosted, forget about that, yo. Forget about that. So I guess I'm gonna pick this order up, go drop this order off really fast, and then um, see what happens afterwards. But for now, yo, let's get this video started. Yes, 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 let's beat some of this traffic today. Let's get through this traffic, yo. This is where the firefighters train to, uh, you know, fight fires. Because in the city, you know, there's a ton of buildings, so you got to know how to go up in a building and pull people out. That sort of thing. I guess today is one of those days that they're practicing. Yeah, I just dropped this delivery off in this neighborhood, and um, man, it's kind of a mess. It's kind of a nightmare because the booster board's dead. There's nowhere to charge, and I knew this would happen before I left downtown. But uh, yeah, it's just one of those things right now. This is another $17 order, but man, this order is so far away. It's definitely not worth $17. But I did just drop off this other order. What was the payout on this one? $17.20. I'm just gonna try to go offline, but every time I try to go offline, there's like another order popping up. It's just like super annoying. <laughs> I said, guys, pissed off, I'm vlogging. Homeless people get really mad when you vlog, I've noticed that. Anyway, let's uh... Oh, here's a batch order. I don't want to do this one either. Let's just keep on cruising. I gotta get out of the mission area because there's no businesses around here that I can go charge. I'd have to go like towards this way. And there's no bus line either. The bus line is this way too. It's so one thing about San Francisco. In certain neighborhoods there's like no stores and there's no like coffee shops and stuff like that. But then in other areas, that's where everything is, you know? And this is one of those areas where there's not much over here, but right over there, it's way more action. I found a plug right here in the middle of uh, this mall. This isn't the same building that Square is in. Uber is across the street next door. So I'm pretty much back downtown. I did jump on one of those buses, you know, jumped on the back door, rode the bus for a little bit, jumped back off. And now I'm almost back down at WeWork and then that way I can switch out the boosted for the acting so i'm only gonna let this charge for maybe like 10 minutes that should give me enough range to get over to the acting and that way i can switch out and I'll, I'll have much much longer range with the acting i don't know why i set myself up like, like this this morning i should have uh should have thought a little bit different about this or maybe i should have brought out in the acting first thing this morning acting so much fun to ride yo i wish i was on it i wish i was out on the acting right now yo huh Five percent battery on the boosted now, so maybe another five minutes. I'll have enough to get back down. Nice, I got enough charge. Dang, check out this robot. Just cruising, yo. Really, is that the future? Are people just gonna have a robot like carrying their backpack and carrying their skateboard instead of, uh, you know, them carrying it? Are people really gonna get this lazy in the future? I just cut the Uber Eats app on. I feel like whenever I'm vlogging with the Uber Eats app on, it's just different because I don't know where I'm gonna go. With Caviar, you always know where the drop-off location is. And of course, this uh, first Uber Eats request sends me to uh, McDonald's. So let's go up in here and do this real quick. Man, this delivery going so close. It's going like like two blocks away. Let's see how the acting take the sidewalk. Just like a champ, huh? That was nothing but an act. Thing I like just got shot back there. <laughs> hey. 
This delivery wasn't going far at all. It's going like the second floor on Macy's. Gotta go find that drop off location. It's somewhere around there. In the women's department, you know? Women's shoes at that. Look at this, I'm on the phone outside of McDonald's. Another Uber Eats delivery right here. Damn, this building freaked me out when I walked in. I thought that was a mirror. So the first thing I did was turn around and look for the elevator. And there's no elevator because this is not a mirror. This is a, this is a weird setup. This is what I call it. But uh, yeah, this is Uber Eats order number two. Let's go drop this one off. This is what that actually looks like when you bring it indoors. Be hella bright and you got, and you got brake lights back there flashing too. Come on elevator. Smells like food up in here, y'all. Smell good up in this joint. Oh my gosh, sometimes I feel the Uber app is better, even when they don't show you the drop-off location. Like, picking up another pickup. And it's like stress-free when you don't have the app buzzing at you all the time to accept this request, accept this request, because you don't want to accept it. That's why you haven't accepted it. 14th floor is not working. Oh yeah, I gotta swipe this thing. There we go. Now we're good. Now we're in business. Some of these hallways are like so long. Sometimes homeboy Jermaine is creative. All right, guys. Just like I said, his drop off is going super close. It's just like two blocks from the pickup location. Like literally two blocks. I could have just kick pushed the whole way without using any battery. Super close. I wish all the deliveries were like this. And I also like the fact that there's bonuses on Uber Eats up until 2 p.m. on Caviar. The bonuses, they kind of vanish around 12.30. I guess how to work the system is go online at Caviar from 10 a.m. through 11. And then at 11, you can go online with Uber because that's when the Uber bonuses start at 11. And today, the bonuses are 1.4. Guaranteed surge from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. That's not bad. That's not bad. Okay, so I'm at 75% left on the Acton, and I've completed about, I don't know, four Uber Eats deliveries, and I'm at 75%. Still have 10 miles plus range left on the battery. All right, guys, we showed up to this delivery, and um, the item was way, way too big. Oh, wait, look at that Porsche. Someone smashed the window. Let's just keep cruising. I don't want them to think it was me. But anyway, yeah, the item was way too big, so I basically skated over here and uh, not going to do that delivery. But that's not a problem. That's not a problem. I'm sure I'll get another delivery in this area, but one thing, I'm, one problem I'm running into is I have about 10 minutes before two o'clock and that's when the 1.4 bonuses end on uber and i would just love to accept one of those requests right before the, i would just love to accept one of those requests right before those bonuses end i hear that sound that sound it's going off in my pocket right now let's check and see and check this out i can actually roll on the act and look at this yeah let's go pick this up yeah it's not that far away let's go pick this one up let go oh it's from a mediterranean restaurant Oh, maybe I'll have to get food there. Let's stop and turn around. Let's go this way. May have to go back to that restaurant. Just picked up another order. And uh, just like I said, this one's going really close. All of these deliveries are less than a mile away. Problems with this drop off. This is 260. This is 250. On the Uber Eats app, it says 250 slash 260. So I don't know which is which. Just call the customer, no answer. Maybe, uh, maybe the customer will be down. Maybe they know I'm here. But I've just started the um, five minute um, timer. Come on, I got no idea what name this is, yo. All right, guys, this delivery requires um, skateboarding with soup in my hand. So let's hope this goes good. And I'm gonna stop and let those bikers completely pass because I tend to have a problem with bikers in the city. Okay, let's go. Oh 
Okay, I'm waiting on this super, super long line just for a apple and a cliff bar. That's it. Okay, boarding and eating my cliff bar at the same time. It's almost gone now. <laughs> I just want to call today the day of random charge locations. So I just discovered another charge location. My whole, I was just out riding around in circles and came up to Embarcadero and I was gonna go back up that way. But whenever I ride down Market and then make a left in Embarcadero, I typically just keep going all the way down Embarcadero. And this is where I find myself here because if I keep going down Embarcadero, I'm not gonna have enough juice to make it back. So perfect time to stop and charge up. I exactly need to charge that much maybe one or two bars, but uh, perfect time for a quick little break real fast. Rest my legs because you know, standing up all that time makes your back feet hella tired, yo. All right, this does not look good. Remember when I was out working for Uber earlier? Guess what? I've completed six trips. It was online for one hour, 47 minutes, and the payout is $0. Let's, let's double check this here. Oh my gosh, today's earnings, zero. How can it be zero earnings? Completed six trips. All on the acting board too, like six trips on the acting. I was only able to complete like one and a half deliveries using the boosted board, yo. But on Uber Eats, they do a better job of keeping you in one general area and on Caviar, they definitely send you all over the place. But you kind of know where you're going. Go. We ready to ride out, ride out, and you know, I'm still wondering about the whole Uber thing, but maybe it'll just pop up the next day. But I'm, I am really, really curious to see how much I earn on those those deliveries because it was a lot of fun, but I'm still curious to see how much I earned. Did I make 20 bucks for those two hours? Did I make 40 bucks? Did I make 50 bucks? Like, how much was it? Gosh, you gotta tell me, guys. I really, really want to know. I squeeze through here. Wee! All right, y'all. I think I'm gonna get ready to wrap the video up. I'm gonna go edit this really fast, upload it to the world wide web. But thanks a lot for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace out, yo.